Namaste, everyone, and welcome, welcome in another episode of Creator Show. Show. Yay! Today we've got such a beautiful panel. I'm super, super happy because finally, after months, we've got Master Shri Akashana with us. I'm here. I'm back from a different dimension. <laughs> Namaste. Yay! <laughs> we also do have our beautiful Nash. Hello. And today little bit different place because normally Hassan is the one who's behind the camera so today Hassan on our hot seat hey <laughs> um, so much enthusiasm <laughs> <laughs> today topic um I was actually thinking what to talk about because it's kind of you know hard to choose if we should talk about money business traveling but love love is always in our life it's actually a huge part of our life so today we're going to talk about relationships. Mercury retrograde. That's what Sorry I was... Sorry to spoil it. I just had something <laughs> that in there. Uh, Mercury retrograde is happening and a lot of people are, uh, 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 whether consciously or unconsciously, being affected. Some of them who are consciously being affected probably are too much consciously being affected, meaning they are consciously programming themselves to be affected. Are you mm. guys understanding what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like meaning even when it was not unconsciously even happening, they are consciously programming to make it happen. So my question is, Master, as we already talked about Mercury retrograde, yeah. if I am not aware about all this Mercury happening right now, okay, because well, I think... First of all, are you aware or not aware? Well, now I'm aware. I mean, I am aware because we are our conscious creators, <laughs> but probably like a year or two years back, I wouldn't be aware. Okay. If I would still feel like anxious or upset, how okay. does it actually affect our relationship and love? Well, so you're asking if you're not aware? How is it? How does it affect? Is that mm. your question? Because when you are worried, you okay, kind of... very simple. Uh, are you aware that it's Mercury retrograde, Hassan? Yeah. No lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay. No, no, no. no. no really, actually not aware. Uh, actually, there no. you go. Actually, not aware. Right. So there you go. So Nash, how are you feeling for since yesterday and today? How are you feeling? Nothing much different. You see? There's mm, your answer. Mm, mm. But now, after all this conversation today, if you will know what's going to happen in your relationship, probably gonna go home and make a huge fight. Yeah, why are you doing this but, to but, me? But this is what I'm saying. I think that some people they are consciously mm. creating that unconscious, and then suddenly it becomes a problem. So actually, sometimes uh, not knowing is also good. It's better. Not mm. necessarily, but I just think it's a uh, good too. It depends. I think for a. Uh, I think for everything, it's always when you're a strong spirit and you know it's better because you're mm. conscious and if there's any good and bad, you can weigh it out and you can balance it out. If you are weak spirit and you know more, sometimes it's not that good. Mm. Like like if your spirit is weaker, it's just like people go for like, um, you've seen in, in Chinese, they have the Xuan Ming. They, they yeah, go, fortune teller. They go fortune teller and things like that. So many people, they get, I, I've, I've had it before in my family. <laughs> People come back from these fortune tellers and say, oh no, I need to be careful on the on the 15th of this month, 27th of this month. And by the way, this month, don't go out and this, don't do anything don't here. Don't drive. stop your business and don't drive here and don't drive there. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, drive. whoa, whether it was or not was, now it definitely is um, because your, your spirit can't handle it. And let's say, for example, if it was the case and now you've added your negative or belief or doubt or fear towards it, you're just amplifying the situation. Mm. So sometimes I think it uh, depends on your strength of spirit, whether knowing is good or not, I think. So Master, my question is what to do to make your spirit stronger so you hey, can this actually is not control ask it. Master anything, please. <laughs> <laughs> but as we talk about Mercury retrograde. <laughs> this was a talk show. <laughs> I only think you're the Polly, most, you know. Polly, I have a question for you. Okay, we go. <laughs> No, because like, as we not really experience mm. about this Mercury retrograde, and we're already talking about the topic, but I what believe is so many hey, of our creators would like some... Hey, you all experience, you all experience Mercury retrograde. I think it's just, um, look, um, uh, what I said yesterday during the portal, I, I, I still remain with the same thing. It is like, um, okay, let's, let's speak it first. Uh, Basically, it's a, uh, when you look at astrology, when you look at how planets are moving and things like that, basically, planet Mercury will be going slower. So that's what's happening. Mm. For suddenly that moment, it goes slower. And when it goes slower, actually, on the perspective of things, when you look at it uh, in, in the solar system, it actually looks like it's actually moving backwards. But it's not moving backwards, it just slowed down. Mm -hmm. uh, 
while energies are kind of moving backwards, that's why related, I always say every parallel universe is parallel, it relates to certain, uh, like something that happens there will always trigger something to happen here, cause and effect like that. It'll be parallel. And so when energies happen like that, that's why in this physical reality, sometimes it will trigger certain past things because when the energies are moving back and forth like this, it triggers past things. That's why I already got today when I when after we made the video, a lot of people text me and say, "Oh my God, my ex actually texts me out of nowhere today." I'm just right? waiting for it to be honest. <laughs> I was like, "Here we go. Let me bring so, all those exes." So, 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 so you see, people, uh, and it doesn't have to be ex. This is not just say ex. There's actually anything that's backwards. Actually, a relationship is a big uh, thing, right? So. But anything that's backwards, so past people will, will uh, can message you uh, uh, out of the blue, things like that. Um, past situations. Mm. Let's say a past problem that you thought was gone, sometimes may just, hey, I thought that was gone now. You know, mm -hmm. it just comes back. Or when you're in conversation with your partner or people around you, your family members or whoever's around you, highly likely someone's going to stimulate some or trigger something that's from the past again. That is likely situations that may happen over from now all the way to October the 17th. So these days while this portal is open. So it's highly likely that that will happen. And my recommendation for people um, is actually no different whether it's Mercury retrograde or non-Mercury retrograde, which is kind of don't need to entertain the past. Like mm -hmm. the past is the past. Leave it behind and just live in the now and continue way forward. So. That's why I don't really uh, too much promote uh, educating or talking about all these retrogrades and all these different things um, because I feel that the not so conscious person will see it as, oh, and stop blaming. That's why my business went wrong. That's oh, why yeah. my, that's why they split up with me. That's the they, easiest way to do it, to they be stop honest. Blaming. You see, it's a lot of people. A lot of people. They do that during full moon as well. A lot of people... You know, on, on, on full moon days or, or new moon days or retrograde days, people are just like, uh, you can call somebody at like 1 p.m. in the afternoon. And you say, what are you doing? Sleeping. I say, why? <laughs> oh, it's Mercury retrograde. I feel very tired. <laughs> and I say, hey, <laughs> you know, so it's like, it's the same thing. You know, it's like uh, last night I, I went, went went to the gym with um, Josh. Obviously, after you got a whole long day here. And then we went to gym at 930, you know. You go to the gym, you work out. I said, it's not a time that there, there was no motivation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? After a whole, yeah. a whole day's work, there's no way. Yes, let's go to the gym. It wasn't like that. It's like, it's more like, like, I want to go to the gym now because I want to look after my health. So mm -hmm. that is the reason. So it's just like that. I think Mercury retrograde, not Mercury retrograde, good mood, bad mood, high energy, low energy, whatever. You do what you gotta do. You be happy. You, yeah. But we like do that. have this uh, this sentence, this quote in Paulette. I'm not sure if it's gonna make sense in English. Don't go to the same river twice. So mm. they say if you've been in a relationship, you went through that relationship. Your ex is for a reason. So it's time to move on, clear the path, empty the cups, and just start from the you know like a clean page. Make sense. Yes. See. Some. How, what What do you think about that, Hassan? Yeah. How many exes have you been with? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how many times you go back to that river? I've never been back. <laughs> never been back. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, are you the kind of person who never go back? Yeah, you should. Um... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It depends. <laughs> no. Uh, once, obviously, like Polly said, like you shouldn't go to the river. But it's the same thing. Like once it's happened, it's happened. Move on. Mm -hmm. Um. The new beginnings and new things that's why it's everything that happens is for a reason so that's why once it's happened it's either a learning curve or either it's a mistake you realize it goes on well i guess okay. it depends if you're the you're, one who finishing the relationship or you're the one who's being yeah. dumped you, 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 know, you know actually you know actually i don't uh i don't completely agree with uh, uh these these th i mean obviously it makes sense in that sense uh, and, and let me tell you what i feel it makes sense to it makes sense to Let's say, for example, a lot of people, they finish a relationship and it's just fresh and they finish and then they attach to that person. They're like, mm. no, I'm lonely. I need you. I, I can't live without times. you. I think that is this, this saying that you're saying makes sense because mm. the problem is there. The problem's fresh. It's there. And you go back, it's the same problem over and over. That's why people get together, break up, get together, break up and continue that cycle. But I don't believe it's completely true in a sense where 
when energies have already shifted. Because you never know. Some people, some people you see, some people they say, oh, they were together 15 years ago. Suddenly they're together again mm. and they're, they're happily married or something. You see, yeah. So you get a lot of cases like that. So I don't think it's like a solid permanent thing where it's like you cannot go back to an mm. ex. I think it's more it's a problem when people are still uh, it's like rebound problems and, and attachment problems and emotional chaos in that stage of feeling lonely. I'm just searching on my exes now, which one I should go back to. <laughs> <laughs> or some people are saying, oh, next, you, next. you meet the wrong, per- you meet the right person at the wrong time. Yeah. So, yeah. so I but, think. But but I think that what what you guys were saying before in terms of um that 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 there's a reason mm-hmm. behind everything is true. But giving it a different light, a different context for some people, it could be that. Uh, let's say, for example, two people were together, their, rela- their personality clash or whatever, they broke up, didn't work out. Um, but then because they broke up, it kicked them off to go on search for oneself mm-hmm. for personal development or something like that, for some reason, on two separate routes. But two probably went through personal development or awakening. And then let's say three, five years down the line, they come back together and that could still be, that was a reason that, that so we needed sense. to break up and then now mm. we're coming back yeah. together. Because they need yeah. to maybe grow on their own path yeah. to be together again. Uh, yeah. Now everyone is thinking about the exes. Which <laughs> <laughs> Pictures are scrolling. This, nah, one. <laughs> nah, this one's still far away from but me. The thing I don't understand is why some people so, um, like, exist, like insisting to finding the ex back. I is it just because I, think, I don't want like mm-hmm. to be dumped? I, I, well, there's that, there's ego, but I think that another thing as well, I think it's um, uh, naturally human have a lack mindset. Mm-hmm. Mm. They always feel like, what if I never get anybody like that anymore? <laughs> even if, even if there was a, even if there's a lot of bad things about them, you only think about the good things. Yeah, and you that's think, so what true. If I find, <laughs> what if I don't find anybody with those good things anymore? <laughs> you see, so, but I think it only think happened when you, when you, freshly break up because you're missing that person the someone that had been around you especially when you've been for quite a while is you feel some people for one year two year three years still like that mm. yeah. we get so many messages uh, some people they also like oh i love the way i am with this person mm. nah, no. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no no i just found out myself so much better because i found myself when i was alone i mean mm. when i am alone so yeah so yeah. i guess i it... I, th- I think um I think another important thing uh, answering to these questions, I think, is that um, uh, the most important thing is people need to search uh, self-love. They need to mm. find self-love yeah. because people always feel like they're not complete. Uh, oh, my other half. Mm. Actually, on the conscious level, we should stop my other half uh, saying because it's not your other half. Mm. It, it, you are you. You are one whole. So you by yourself should be fulfilled, happy. Lo- loving you know it's all beautiful like that it's just that if this person is happy that person is fulfilled when two come together i think that's the most fulfilling thing when nobody is lacking mm-hmm. that, that i think that's the best relationship formula uh, yeah and i wish everyone to find that formula because it's hard sometimes like i can see at my in my experience that i was fulfilling myself while I be- was being with somebody to do things for somebody and making someone happy. And then when this person disappeared, I was like, oh, what are I going to do? What I like? I-, I-, I was lost. That's why mm-hmm. I think for people like that, like me before, obviously, it's good to <laughs> stay by yourself because then you can find yourself and find this love within. Mm-hmm. So guys, for all of you, find the love within. Okie dokie. What I would like to also ask masters, we've got master now, a beautiful <laughs> chair master. in here. I want to um, ask Hassan some <laughs> uh, No, we can open that discussion, but master, as we are entering October now, um, what about October? Is it a good time for love? What we should do? Is it maybe a good time for relationships? Every day is a good day for love. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Every day is a good day for love. Well, October... October is a uh, October energies is a nice month. October is less chaotic than September. September is a little bit more chaos. Things going on. Uh, energies the way the energies are. So October is a little bit calmer. October is a good time to, for things to flourish, um, for things to magnify. Um, so when it comes to love as well, as as long as people put their attention towards it uh, and develop it, uh, nurture it, then uh, it's 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 a good time. Yes. Mm beautiful in general to have a love within and um 
then it's easier to spread that love. Guys, would you like to share anything about, you know, being the loved one, share that love? Maybe you've got any tips for our creators. They always, you know, very curious people. So we much appreciate, please. Much. Yes. <laughs> this will go always yes. love to say. <laughs> yes. Actually, I just want to know if Hassan is looking for love. <laughs> <laughs> if Hassan is open the market, you know? <laughs> Hassan's secret love affairs. Uh, maybe we should reveal that one in this one. <gasps> Oh, oh. what was that? <laughs> I can see that's a blushing. What, what was yeah. that? No, love it. Love is love is actually beautiful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was, I was trying. trying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, love I'm is. I'm trying good. to make some speeches. Okay, are you <laughs> creative, looking? Are so. you looking for a man or a woman? <laughs> <laughs> How, how's your halal chicken girl? <laughs> she's all right. She's uh, okay. <laughs> he has a, 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 a halal chicken girl hidden at home. Yeah. Where? Well, what? <laughs> in the flat. What? In the flat. What? What? coming out now. We are pilling you. This, is, uh, this topic is behind cameras. <laughs> Did she watch the show? I don't think so. <laughs> this chicken so, lady. You, you know. Chicken you, lady. He goes, maybe she watching. He, he goes really far to buy loads of halal chicken so that he can bring it back for this girl every day. Yeah. Who is that girl? Hassan. That's another show we talk about. <laughs> That's what we are talking about. We are talking about relationship. I mean, so is it what? Just you can't keep the love to yourself. No. You to love is it. all about sharing love. <laughs> Let's share your love. What is the love? No, love is beautiful. <laughs> 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 that's nice. That's nice to know. I think that's 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 the, that's the message. Love is beautiful, and um, I think the most important thing is that, um, like you were saying before, it's like you look, you look I yourself. Think his game face so serious. <laughs> 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 Why are you guessing that one? <laughs> you need to love yourself. First. Okay, okay, okay. You said fine. So um, <laughs> I, I, I was I was carrying on there. You, you can <laughs> carry on. Right? Right? Okay. I had my moment. No, it's okay. No, no, no. You can start again. Yeah. Love this. I Beautiful. forgot what I was saying. No, <laughs> no, no, you need to come no, with him. Come on. Don't be shy. Uh, we yeah, know already so... about Chicken Lady. We know the love is beautiful. <laughs> Carry on. Um, yes, yeah, so I like, like Master, you were saying before, like, uh, you need to love yourself first. That's the most important thing. Um, I think uh, even in, in, in my community and stuff as well, in, in where I grew up from, that's what people lack, like self-love. They go out searching for love. They go out searching for the other half but they don't actually love themselves and they get to a stage where they're giving everything to the partner but then when they are like they feel that without that partner they're nothing mm. and that's something that a lot of people when they go five years in a relationship or ten years in a relationship and when they go through like tough times or divorce or something like that mm. they totally like either go towards this depression mode or self-harm because they don't have that self-love for themselves in the first place mm. So like for, for the creators, one thing I would I would say is like the most important thing is to find yourself, who you are, and love yourself. Um and then love will come. Um obviously it's 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 not about going out and finding love, it's about making sure that you're suitable to attach that love and stuff. As long as as long as you bring the chicken back home, yeah. yeah. She will love, love you forever. Chicken is important. Chicken, chicken is important. <laughs> but, but, I think, but I think that was very, very beautiful what what you, what you said there because it was sharing about I think uh, as crazy as it sounds, but still in today's uh, modern day society, when it comes to culture and things like that, some cultural differences and uh, different cultures around the world, some uh, male dominant uh, type mm. of cultures and things like that. And sometimes a lot of uh, on, on the female side uh, is always dependent uh, and, and, and feel like that without the man, the, you know, mm. there's no family, there's no love, there's no, there, there's no life even, and so, I think uh, it's a very important message for people in different communities uh, to learn about self love and know that uh, you are whole. Uh, give yourself that self love, and um, uh, life is all about happiness. Uh, uh, if you're, if you have a partner that can. Uh, make you happy and both of you are happy together then that's that's that, that that that's great you know and i don't think it's more it's so much about oh i need the partner to make me happy it's more you are happy they are happy when two come together then then that's beautiful but i think that at the same time while we're speaking about that it can get onto some sensitive topics as well when it comes to culture because um some things are uh, can be a little bit more submissive in a way where people feel like they don't mm -hmm. have choice you know in that but i think that Mm. 
some people who are in very dire situations and circumstances still still uh, have that faith find that love from within you are alive uh, it's uh, everything is experience you know that, that that's uh, and and if you can keep your head up high through every challenge uh, uh, there will be light somewhere that that comes and i think that's an important message out there as well yeah, yeah that's very beautiful master yeah. and i think um sometimes we've got difficulties to actually show that love maybe because throughout our life we've been hurt so many times or as you must have mentioned different cultures different way of showing that love and because we were closed once because our heart was broken then we kind of even the love it will be in front of us maybe this dream person that you've met just i want to encourage you to to open up to trust because this is a time when you're opening yourself and you're letting your heart to be open then it's much easier to attract that love that you've got within you even if you are scared just play full out you only live once in this human body so attract what you are and i'm very excited very thankful and also please guys comment down below drop a heart to just reaffirm that love that you've got within you and i wish everyone to to start loving yourself find the love within and then just spread that beautiful love all around the world wherever you go and of course if you haven't subscribed yet that's your time and smash that notification bell icon to be always aware of our videos because we are here answering your questions sharing knowledge and actually learning from you guys every monday and for now thank you very much and namaste namaste Stay.